Wondering how to elevate your professional life being a mechanical design engineer? If you are thinking so, watch this video till the end because we are going to unveil about all of the skills that are required to become a mechanical design engineer and what are the various other job roles which are aligned into the role of a mechanical design engineer plus the salaries which are being held over by a mechanical design engineer in India and by major other companies. So with that note, I would welcome you all to Freshest Now where we provide informative videos, not just the outlook part, but we are going to get into deeper questions which are going to be who, what is or who is a mechanical design engineer and what are the skills that are required? What does a, this person do? How to become a mechanical designer, design engineer? If you are already wondering as to how you have to start your career, you can understand through this slide. Job roles in a mechanical design engineer and as well as jobs uh, which are related to job roles which are related to a mechanical design engineer role. And lastly, we are going to understand the salary of a mechanical design engineer in major locations and by companies as well. We are going to start off with the introduction part, which is mechanical design engineers work in a wide range of industry based companies which manufactures goods which are including automotive construction railway and electronic industries so they would be actually working with basing on the industries like whichever you are comfortable in choosing and which you can actually be more productive in and further they would be looking into the manufacturing of goods so they would be actually providing a set of products or the items which are in related to the particular industry the skills that are required to become one or considered to be the foundational skills in order to even start your career are um, micro station mentally and then you will have value engineering product development, project management, design, technical analysis, etc. And if you are thinking what do they do on a day to day basis, you have to understand all of these major key points, which will give you an insight about the role, not just the skills part. This will give you a deeper understanding as how you can understand the role even better. These design engineers would be tasked up with the developmental drawings that they would be coordinating with the industry guidelines and the objectives of the company and state building laws as well. They would be analyzing machine systems to ensure that they would be actually functioning or working properly. They would be actually also researching in design proposals and then manuals and then further cultivating out all of the valuable information. They would be all of that doing in a collective basis researching, collecting, then a uh, feasible cost construction uh, details, understanding the modification of the pro uh, products and then they would be ensuring how these uh, engineered de designs would be further kept into the performance specifications and then it would be further implemented. This is a very long process indeed, right? So not just it, this process has to have an alignment even before you start. So how you would be becoming one. So the starting role or the starting stages of a mechanical design engineer would be something like this. Being proficient in engineering design programs such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks and Rhino. And then so you should also have good knowledge in design engineering and also the principles, the best practices, various other patterns, trends that are further working along with. And you should have the ability to stay in further advancements so that you would not be laid out behind and you should know as to how the further technology is further growing and engineering design trends as well so that you can get along with the technology and further development so that you would be in that phase of life where you would be quickly analyzing the particular product and further bringing out a productive outcome. So this is how you align your day to day responsibilities as well as the beginner stages as well. Alongside with that, you have to understand various other job roles which are in a mechanical design engineer role. So meeting out with the clients, the designing teams, whether or not to determine mechanical application and further requirements, you should be planning, executing uh, and all of the mechanical designs and then overseeing the development manufacturing of the physical prototypes for testing so that further when you are into the process of uh, delivering or executing that particular product you would know how much analysis that you have done and what is the productive outcome that you can expect. 
We have covered the major section of the video. We are going to enter into part two, which is going to be salaries. The salary of a mechanical design engineer in India on an average basis is 351,000 per annum according to the data by pay scale and if you're wondering how professional graph is going to look like over the years pay by experience of a mechanical design engineer from year 1 to year 4 is 289 and eventually you can see from between 5 to 10 years the period of growth is 298 to 891,000 per annum and eventually 20 years and more it's going to land you nearly 1 million. So there is an eventual growth in the pay. Further, if you are wondering how major locations in India are paying their mechanical design engineers, we'll start with Mumbai, then Hyderabad, Bengaluru, Pune and Noida. The average salary of a mechanical design engineer in Mumbai is 3,13,000 per annum. Hyderabad is 3,39 and in Bengaluru it's 4 lakhs per annum and then in Pune 3,97. Finally, Noida it's 3,18,000. Not just it, we also have to understand how major companies in India are paying. Company wise pay scales or company wise salaries of a mechanical design engineer which follows HCL, Mahindra, Larson and Turbo and Simons. So further we are going to understand the first one which is HCL 4,22,000 is the pay given to the mechanical design engineer and further Mahindra you have 8,27,000 topping off. Further you have Larson and Turbo you have 5,49,000. And Siemens you have 7 lakhs per annum which tops off out of all of the companies, right? So if you are wondering why is there major difference, it depends upon the company and the organization that you are working or the location that you are in. Further, on the outset, it is going to also specify the skills that you have, the amount of exposure of work that you have already inculcated, the various other skills that you have learned, the practical amount of work, the experience that you carry, all of this will be taken into consideration and then the salary. Further, if you have any other questions for us, do place them in the comment section or any of our suggestions, you're most welcome. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to Freshers Now channel for more informative videos like this.